Hey guys, greetings. Good evening, Mark Boswell, Boswell Emergency Medical Education Technology. Sorry, playing with the uh, camera here, trying to get lined up correctly. Um, hey, how's y'all evening going? So I want to do a little video short on practice question number 948, which I posted a day or two ago on Facebook on the business page and do a little discussion on it. Uh, there was a lot of comments on it on the Facebook page and a few questions will too. So practice question 948 says, I'm gonna read it here off the screen, an 18 year old male is complaining of unilateral testicular pain, which of the following will be most useful in deciding if he needs a testicular ultrasound or not. Answer A, the severity of the pain. Answer B, the time slash duration of the onset of the pain. C, the patient's age. D, the patient's report of what activity immediately preceded the testicular pain. So the correct answer, I'll tell you up front, and you can listen to the explanation here, the correct answer is the time and duration of the onset of testicular pain, which is uh, choice B. So a lot of the discussion online came from the fact that in real practice day to day at your ER, your ED or whatever, you're gonna ultrasound all of these, okay? However, talking to you guys and teaching you guys as far as exam preparation goes, it's a different scenario than when you're actually at work, okay? Let's face it, at work in the ED day to day, we do a lot of testing that does not need to be done. Uh, why is that? I mean, there's you know, possible issues with a uh, physician or provider, you know, worried about liability, oh, I didn't take a CT of this, or I didn't do an ultrasound on this. There's customer service applications. Let's face it, some of your, your administrators and your bosses, they want you, even while the patient's waiting, they're doing some tests, because to the patient, it feels like they're doing something while they're waiting to be seen, et cetera, et cetera. However, the CN exam is not, the CN exam is our perfect world, the way medicine and nursing should be practiced. And so obviously what I'm alluding at here in this question is, you know, what are, what are some possible differential diagnoses for unilateral testicular pain? Well, torsion, epididymitis, trauma, those are probably the top three. Okay. Um, another teaching point for the CN exam is you only go with what is given to you in the stem of the question. So right away we can get rid of trauma because there's nothing in the stem of the question that suggests this young boy, man, male had any testicular trauma. Okay. So we're left with epididymitis versus testicular torsion. And the reason that answer B is the correct answer because torsion a testicular tor it's a tongue twister. Testicular torsion is the pain is actually an ischemic pain due to the lack of or the reduction of or the obstruction of the arterial flow to the testicle. And as is true for all ischemic pain, you have a time window of about four to six hours before that patient's gonna present with some complaints of pain from this ischemia that's setting up, okay? Um, torsion, the guy was probably doing probably had no symptoms prior to this, okay? Torsion can even happen just during normal activity, even during someone's sleep. Uh, I've actually seen an exam question on the CN one time where it implied that the, the, the young male or the man was just suddenly had testicular pain when they woke up in the middle of the night. They weren't doing anything crazy, not like some jungle monkey sex or something like that. Um, so the activity preceding it, which is um, letter D, doesn't apply. Torsion can happen even with normal activities. Okay. The big thing here, and the severity doesn't matter either. Torsion, it depends when they present. If they present pretty soon after it torsed, the pain may not be that severe. An epididymitis, even if they present maybe a day later, the pain may be more. We, we can't rely upon the severity of the pain to determine if they need the ultrasound or not. The big thing here I'm trying to get at with this question is torsion, the time of onset is usually sudden usually like hours, um, a couple hours, maybe uh, rapid, sudden, unprovoked kind of thing. Whereas the pain of epididymitis, which would be a unilateral testicular pain also, yes, the young man may present to the ER and say, hey nurse, my testicle is hurting. And you say, as the nurse, when did it start? Oh, it started tonight, okay. That's why you always ask the patient, what was going on before this? What did you notice yesterday? Anything at all? Epididymitis, this young man will have been having pain or some discomfort or some something yesterday. 
okay? Because epididymitis is not the pain of ischemia or potential infarction. Even though what got their attention tonight was, oh, my testicles hurting. If you ask them and directly um, inquire of them, how about yesterday? They're gonna say, yeah, maybe that's a little achy, a little sore. It was kind of heavy down there. Uh, there's a dull throbbing kind of pain. Epididymitis is not ischemic or infarcting tissue. There will have been some symptoms prior to that for the CE exam. Now, I know in the real world, we're gonna ultrasound every one of these, but an ultrasound is not required to diagnose epididymitis. Matter of fact, 20 plus years of clinical practice, almost every epididymitis I've seen examined, it was a bedside physical diagnosis. Physically examine the patient and talk to them. One epididymis is more swollen and tender than the other, a more of a gradual onset, and probably some high risk or some risky sexual behavior because most epididymitis is, is, is that even a word, are an STD until proven otherwise, especially in a younger person, generally under 30. Okay. Um, so even asking the patient's age doesn't dictate do I need an ultrasound or not because these contortion and epididymitis can happen in both younger person as well as a person a little bit older. Okay. So the most useful question I want to ask them is when it was the time of onset. Now, in the real world, you'll understand both of these. But with the CE and exam, where only one answer can be the correct or the most bestest, et cetera, et cetera, phrase, the most bestest answer, um, you're going to go with the time of onset, okay? Because torsion is the pain of an ischemic or a near, soon-to-be infarcting testicle, okay? And your ischemic time for any tissue in your body, whether it be um, uh, a STEMI, a mesenteric ischemia, compartment syndrome, your ischemic time for tissues is about four to six hours. Your patient will be having some symptoms by then. I hope this helps. Um, feel free to post a comment down below. Um, give me some feedback, whatever. Hopefully you're following the Facebook page and these questions, and I look forward to seeing you at a class or another video post or another practice question sometime soon. Y'all be safe. Um, take care of yourselves. Be well. Be nice to one another. I'll talk to you again soon.